let's say there's that that ratio of there is that's prevented versus that's caused by gun violence do you think that would decrease if there were more limitations on access to guns no so when it comes to so, the life and of our citizens yes do, do you not believe that we have let's say any let's like what if just you know in general like does when it comes to protecting the lives of citizens and, sure. and immigrants and anyone who lives in America just yeah. when it comes to that do you believe that there should be some flexibility in our constitution to uh, protect our people so. well first off a couple of couple of key issues there right okay. um, you would have to uh, open it wide and now all of a sudden nothing is absolute so your freedom of speech is not absolute so you would have to be comfortable with that secondly it's based on this premise that we would save lives by removing the Second Amendment which I, I don't agree with, but let's go with, with number one. Mm -hmm. um, do you see what a problem that is? If you just say, well, let's hold on a second because we think we can be safer. Let's give up this fundamental right to protection uh, mm -hmm. as recognized mm -hmm. in the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. Can we acknowledge or maybe find common ground there that that'd be a real problem because it's the same constitution that affords you and I the right to do what we're doing right now. I mean, I understand that mm -hmm. wholeheartedly, mm -hmm. but if we're thinking of the bigger picture here where like, I mean, I've seen things on social media where people believe that teachers should have guns. And I mean, so do you just, as a human being, do you think that the amount of shootings that we have every day in our mm -hmm. country would decrease if we had a buyback? Like just um, thinking, you know, basic common sense. Okay, so we've now, I want to make sure that we're, we're clear here. Mm -hmm. We've hopscotched past the idea of human rights. Mm -hmm. Seems like that's not an area you're super comfortable with. Oh. Because now you're talking about stripping someone of their fundamental I mean, right to self-protection. Is, is having a gun... If it saves someone else's life. I mean, why not? Why not? I mean, okay. why not, you know, like, take that step as a country? Take that step as a country? Yeah, so why not? Removing someone's right to protect themselves. Protect themselves from what? So explain to me, since I'm... So, the Second Amendment... So, you, are, um, I don't want to be a smart-ass. No, 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 you're, do okay. your thing, man. Okay, so the, <laughs> yeah. the Second Amendment, you, are, do you, you want me to explain what it is? No, I, yeah, sure. Okay. So ahead. the Second Amendment was designed to allow citizens to protect themselves, uh, selves both from an internal and external threats. Mm -hmm. That means mm -hmm. the right to protect, obviously, mm -hmm. their home, property, mm -hmm. but mainly to protect themselves from a tyrannical government. Okay. Because they fled a tyrannical government, they fought them off, right? These were basically unorganized mm -hmm. uh, militias. Mm -hmm. Who is a militia? It's everyone. You and I are the militia. Mm -hmm. And the only way to ensure that there can be a well-regulated militia, meaning a capable militia, is that all citizens have the right, law-abiding citizens, to keep and bear arms. That's what it was designed to do. You're proposing um, giving the government the very failsafe it's designed against to protect mm -hmm. against a tyrannical government. You're saying let's give the government the authority to strip people of rights. That's like I mean, a, fee a feedback loop of just a violation of human rights on a scale that I don't think you so might know. You personally, do you think having the right to free speech is more important than having the right to a gun? No, I think you they're don't. both equally important. You think important. they're both equally important? Yeah. So you think like for the development of our country, it's essential to have guns and free speech, and you think they're on the same level in a scale? I think the right to own and keep firearms. So it's more of like a right thing yes. for you? Okay. Well, I mean, why why is it just America that we have tens of thousands of deaths per year? It's not. We, I mean, it is on it. If you look at statistics. No, we're not even top 25. Oh, really? Yeah, we're not even top 25 when it comes to firearm deaths. We're not even the, we are the most armed populace, but we're not even the top uh, country for mass shootings. Matter of fact, we're behind Norway and France, even though more people here have guns. I don't know. I've I think we're never 28. heard of these statistics before, honestly. I don't know where you get yours from, because all of the ones that I've seen okay. show that America is always topping that list. Okay. Uh, well, let's say we're able to show you statistics afterward. Okay. Let's, okay, sure. let's yeah. assume that those are correct. Okay. okay? Um, it still doesn't get to the question. Let's assume, let, let's assume none of them are correct. What okay. gives you the right, or what gives anyone here the right, to strip someone of their ability to protect themselves? So, why don't we dissect that a little? What are we protecting ourselves from? I know you mentioned it from internal and external threat yes. threats. So, what are those threats? Tyrannical government. Okay, first we and went. Foremost. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, of course, the ability to protect yourself from anyone who wants to do you harm, from evil people who are willing to commit uh, harm. I mean, I don't, I don't know why that that should, you know, have anything to do with being able to own an assault rifle, or an assault rifle, or uh, you know, an automatic machine gun, or anything like that. Okay, first off, a couple things there. Um, what do you, um, what's an assault rifle? Uh, like one of them really large guns. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, no. <laughs> No, 
it's not. And, I'm just uh, quoting Call of Duty. Yeah, I know. Oh, I mean, yeah. you mentioned a few things. What kind of? Where do you get your news from? Forgive me, or or your sources. Um, what, what do you usually read? Uh, CNN. Uh, CNN. Twitter. <laughs> CNN, Twitter, and a lot of professors probably here. Probably right. Mm -hmm. um, everything that you have said here, and I say this respectfully, is, mm -hmm. is, is incorrect about the Australia buyback, the statistics about that, about uh, the Second Amendment, now about assault rifles and automatic weapons. None of the shootings that you've discussed, that we've discussed here, involved automatic weapons. Certainly not Florida. Mm -hmm. These are not automatic weapons. Automatic weapons are already heavily regulated. They're basically all but unattainable for the average What did the citizen. Las Vegas guy use? Yeah, he used, he used semi-automatic okay. weapons. So semi-automatic. And switch that word. What about that? Why do, why do people need difference. to have that? I'm sorry, I, I didn't know, but... Do you I want to explain to you what the difference is? Because sure. that's, that's really important. Don't you think, because you, you sat, here's something, and I, I appreciate you sitting down. Mm -hmm. But you sat down here, and you were willing to strip people of their rights. You were willing to say, listen, it's time to progress as a country, which I'll get to in a second, mm -hmm. um, will cause countless more muggings, murders, rapes of innocent people, the likes of which you've never, you've never even been able to comprehend and didn't take into account. You were willing to remove the right of those innocent civilians to protect themselves based on completely faulty data and knowledge of things that simply aren't so. There's a huge difference between an automatic weapon, that's a machine gun, and a semi-automatic weapon. A semi-automatic weapon is every handgun. Mm -hmm. Pull the trigger once, it goes bang. That's a semi-automatic weapon. That's most hunting rifles. That's nearly all handguns that are used for self-defense. So my point is, if, if and I say this respectfully because a lot of people who've sat down, so this is not an insult, but almost mm -hmm. everything that you just said is, is, is incorrect as a premise. Mm -hmm. And you were using that, or going up based on that knowledge, um, to justify the stripping of someone's ability to protect themselves. That is deeply uh, so concerning what if we, to me. So I obviously went to the extreme of just banning guns. What if we in, you know, improved our regulation or okay. improved our, our, our way of giving people access to these guns? Okay, so we've gotten off, so you would say now let's not ban guns. So I'm, yeah, with respect because you know, you gotta okay. please everyone. So okay. let's just say we want to you know, just take another step. What we, do you think we're at a, you know, a good state where we're at right now? Well, I don't want to, I don't want to, let's just say, do you, uh, with what I just said, would, would you acknowledge now that, okay, just banning guns could have some real serious ramifications and, and maybe you, you spoke a little too quickly on that. That might not be a good mm. idea. I'm sorry, what? I said, so, would you agree with that? Maybe that's not a good idea to just ban guns. Sure. Okay. So what kind of regulations would you like to see and why? Just making it probably more difficult for people such as the Las Vegas shooter, the Orlando shooter, and things like that, to Honey. get access to guns like okay. that can and cause such, you know, huge calamities to our country. Um, how would you do it? What do you think? I'm asking you. You're, you're supposed to change my mind. I mean, I'm just saying, like, we're not in a good place where we're at right now with regards to guns. Really? And from the statistics that I've seen, I don't know what which ones you have, and I'd really love to look at the ones afterwards. Absolutely, yeah. And from what I've seen and what I've been convinced through that data is that America is not in a good place with regards to Data guns. Data from and CNN and Twitter and professors <laughs> is wrong. Um, uh, okay, so you've, I'm assuming you probably never purchased a firearm. No, I haven't. Okay. So if you purchase a firearm right now, they run a background check. Okay. Okay? Okay. If you're a criminal, if you're a felon, you can't get a gun. Okay. If you've committed violent misdemeanors, you can't get a gun. Okay. Domestic abuser, you can't get a gun. Mm -hmm. Legally declared mentally unfit, you can't get a gun. Get or own. You, can, you, you, cannot, can't obtain. you cannot purchase a gun. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So these already exist if you go to purchase a firearm. Mm -hmm. Now again, all these Twitter memes and stats, don't believe them. I mean, it's don't not memes, anything it's, it's actual like, links to articles and, and whatnot. Very, very factually It's not just articles. like someone... I mean, I could show you what I've read just, but, like, but, literally um, just now. Where is the, it? The, the point I'm making here is a lot of this would mm -hmm. be very easily refuted by yourself if you'd ever purchased a firearm. You would know it's not. You would know it's not true because you've gone through the process. Mm -hmm. Everyone here who's ever purchased a firearm has gone through that process mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. knows that there are strict regulations. Mm -hmm. um, so we've gone from okay, maybe banning all guns to how do we make it more difficult mm -hmm. for people to purchase? Well, we we already do those things. So what else would you do? The why do people get guns? Like people that commit these crazy crimes. Like, well, why is that still happening? You're, ni you're 19 times more likely to be knifed than ever shot in well, this I mean, country. You're, I, so think, why I feel do like you're 19. I mean, I'm just throwing fake statistics, but I feel like you're much more likely to survive getting stabbed than shot. But the point is, why do people go out and stab people? I mean, people? there's crazy people out there. Yeah. Well, I mean, why, what can we do as a country, in your opinion, uh, Stephen? Right, Stephen? Yes, sir. Okay. Appreciate it. I just Googled you. Uh, so, um, like, what do you think we can take? What's our next step? Because we're obviously, like, 
this just happened like le a week ago. You know, so I, like don't what, believe, I don't believe that, that you human think it's just like change. something we should overlook. Well, no, I think on. I think you're I think you've overlooked a lot of data. Okay. I think you've overlooked empirical evidence, and I think you're you're wanting to pass legislation through an emotive response right now. And I appreciate where you're coming from. I mm -hmm. think it's an empathetic place, and I would hope that you believe where I'm coming from is an equally empathetic place. It's just mm -hmm. a different solution. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that you want to save more lives. Okay. Now, what you've proposed to save more lives. We've started with literally completely Wait. stripping people of guns, mm -hmm. which is uh, very extreme. I believe that's what the left wants to do, though, so I appreciate okay. you being honest. Mm -hmm. um, to, okay, maybe there's some legislation there that we do or don't know what it would look like. Mm -hmm. um, let, let me, I, I've talked about this quite a bit today. Our goal is to save lives. Mm -hmm. How many lives are lost? You said we're in a really bad place with guns in our country are. right now. Are we not? No. Are you going to say we're not? No, so I don't think, think we're, we're okay. Are. I, listen, I as think every, I think we are. No, and I'm, I'm not going to say perfect. I think a, a shooting is an absolute tragedy. Is there room for improvement, or you think that we're just like at a flat line where we're there's always room for improvement? Certainly. Mm -hmm. I mean, when there are 39 incidents. Uh, sorry, yeah, go ahead. No, yeah, it's, 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 my fingers, it's cold. My fingers I know, freeze up a lot. I think my, my mouth <laughs> might be getting blue now. I've been out here for so long. Oh, um, you got water. If, okay. uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, we were talking. Is there room for improvement? Um, I think a man who had 39 reports, two mm -hmm. tips to the FBI, blew away a chicken. This is a guy you're talking about, Florida, who uh, legally should not have been able to purchase a firearm. Okay. But legally, you also can't go buy crack, right? People find ways around the law. Yeah. Okay. No matter what, that's inevitable. That's inevitable. Okay. That's inevitable. Now, uh, as far as we're not in a good place in our country as it relates to firearms, uh -huh. that's not true. Overall, violent crime has been decreasing pretty consistently over the last several decades. Where's so, the statistic? I don't believe that. What if I said I don't like this? I don't believe I'll, it. I'll show you okay. statistics afterward. Okay. But um, I mean, you can even, if, if you would like to, after this, Google violent crime statistics. They've been okay. consistently decreasing. Okay. And the assault weapons ban, which was uh, in place between 1994 and 2004, had mm -hmm. no discernible effect at all on oh, yeah? gun crime. Okay. Um, how many, but let's look at something that hopefully we can just agree upon because you're saying maybe I don't agree on your stats. Mm -hmm. um, I'll show them to you afterward and hopefully sure. we can find some common sure, ground sure, on that. Sure. Let's find something that's absolute, absolute okay. that we can agree upon. Okay. How many lives do you know are lost to firearms each year in the United States? I know it's in the thousands. Yeah. Uh, if you include suicides, it's 30-something thousand. Okay. If you don't, it's anywhere from 12 to, you know, in the teens of thousands, depending on the yeah, source. Yeah, that's... Okay. Mm -hmm. So that sounds about right? Uh, something, like, okay. something like that, yeah. So that's... Let's let's take the, the highest total, 30,000. Okay. Okay. okay, including suicides. I don't really think it's fair to, but let's do that. Um, what if I were to tell you that 500,000 to, at meaning a minimum, to mm -hmm. over 3 million lives each year saved by defensive use of firearms in the United States. That's according to the National Safety Council and CDC. Exponentially more lives saved through law-abiding citizens who own and keep firearms protecting themselves than lost. Saved from like what? Like what's the criteria for that? Meaning, meaning lives saved, meaning from active crime stopped from them using a firearm. And by the way, that doesn't necessarily include all the statistics of most of the time if you own a firearm, you simply show that you brandish the firearm and criminals will move along down the trail. But yeah. innocent lives being saved, this is according to the CDC, National okay. Safety Council, through okay. defensive use of firearms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A low end of 500,000, they said potentially to over 3 million. So if we're talking about we're not in a good place so you're saying in like our country. We'll save more lives with, with more you, guns. Would, would, you, would you at least uh, um, entertain the idea that perhaps a way to save more innocent lives from being lost is encouraging uh, firearm education and responsible firearm ownership? Considering the discrepancy, it's exponentially more likely that an innocent life is saved in the United States by a firearm. So let's say there's that, that ratio of there is. deaths prevented versus deaths caused by gun violence. Do you think that would decrease if there were more limitations on access to guns? No. How so? Well, there's no evidence to suggest that it would. I know. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, just... I've got it. Listen, well, I've got to base my opinion based on, on two things. First on off, on, on the... Uh, the Second Amendment and the Constitution and how it's recognized, okay? Okay. Because if you don't recognize that, then you don't have any rights. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any rights. Sounds to me like you enjoy some of the rights, but you don't necessarily agree with other rights. Then you have to base it on uh, undeniable uh, statistical, empirical data. And we have that. That's what forms my opinion, not how I feel or react based on a horrible tragedy. And, and no one here is saying that it isn't mm -hmm. when that occurs. Um, but you just don't, you don't hear about those stories a lot. It makes sense. I mean, I don't, honestly, like, at the end of the day, I, like, I feel like if you just look at it from a common sense perspective, because you have your statistics, and apparently I have mine, and, and I mean, honestly, like, when you think about it, like,
just hit your camera. Oops. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, tolerant dude. <laughs> and uh, uh, real quick, I really respect what you're doing here. Uh, Thank you very like, much. I, I love that. You. Despite our extremely, you know, dis our extreme disagreement in certain things, I I really respect that you're. Thank you know, you, you're man. not even hiring your voice, and I, I really would, respect I would, that. I would a lot. shake your hand, but just a fist bump. It's so cold. cold <laughs> see? Maybe, let me, no, let, me let me hold your hand to get it warmed up. No, um, I, I really respect this. First thank of you very so, much. No, uh, and listen, and I, I'm not offended by anything you said, so I really appreciate that I, as well. And here's the thing: if, if and I like you want to offend me, uh, that's fine. No, I, I mean, um, I mean, just I want to learn first no, of all, I, and I, I've I shown you where my perspective. I hope you, you you understand where I'm coming from. I understand where you're coming from, and I think you're. I think here's the thing: I think you're you're an empathetic person who wants to save lives, right? Um, and I'm just trying to tell you that that first off, you can't save every life. Right. Okay. I, that's where I believe you're coming from. I don't. I, I don't believe in ascribing a motive. You know, you see this right now at the CNN town hall. Why don't you care about the lives lost? No, why don't these people care about the lives saved? I mean, a good example is we, we don't hear about. Remember the Sutherland Spring shooting? That was right here in Texas. Mm -hmm. You know what happened there, right? Does the name Stephen Williford mean anything to you? No. Okay. This is so. I have a show. It's called Lotto with Crowder. Okay. Stephen Williford was okay. someone I interviewed on my show. Okay. okay, this was after the Southern. You remember the Southern One Springs shooting? I have. I've heard of it. I don't remember well, it exactly. Killed far more people than the one in Florida. Okay. Uh, deadly shooting in Southern Springs, uh, just outside of uh, San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Um, uh, so, so, sorry, so, Sutherland Springs. Sutherland. Yeah. Okay. The Sutherland Springs. Yeah, Sutherland. Sutherland. Sorry, okay. I said Sutherford because it's Stephen Williford. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this was a very deadly shooting that occurred at a church. Mm -hmm. This was within the last uh, four months. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure you've seen all the press, obviously, after Florida, boycott mm -hmm. the NRA, gun mm -hmm. control now, mm -hmm. the CNN mm -hmm. town hall. Stephen Williford is someone we interviewed on our show, okay? The reason I interviewed him on our show, this lowly little podcast, was because no, no one else was really even calling him. No one else really wanted to hear his story. Do you know who Stephen Williford is? No. He's the man who stopped the active shooter with an AR-15. Okay. It was a man shooting up a church. An evil man shooting up a church, mm -hmm. and Stephen Williford, who is a hero, shot him with an AR-15 and stopped it. So the media didn't so, even interview. So I guess are you saying like everyone should get an AR-15? No, I'm not saying everyone should get an AR-15. What I'm saying is, you say you have your facts and you have your data, and then you acknowledge that perhaps you're misinformed on some of these issues. You mentioned CNN. Okay. Why didn't CNN have Stephen Williford? This was a more deadly shooting carried out against a church here in Texas. Stephen Williford, he wasn't some kid who happened to be maybe even a different wing of the school or mm. wasn't even there that day. Mm. This was the man who personally stopped the active shooter. You don't even know his name. Mm. Should that maybe, maybe illuminate that there's a bias in, in, in today's media that isn't giving you the full story? And if you don't believe me on anything, you, you can go watch my interview with Stephen Williford and you can go Google the Sutherland Springs shooting mm. and Stephen Williford. It was an unbelievably deadly shooting. Watch Ladder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.